My name is Russ Sayers. I'm a senior cloud technologist here in AWS training and certification. My name is Morgan Willis, and I'm a principal cloud technologist here with AWS training and certification. So container technology is kind of everywhere these days. A couple of years ago, you might have been able to get away with not knowing what containers are, but I feel like we are using containers more and more, even just with like software development tooling um, and you know deploying our applications in containers. And so they started popping up all over the place. It's a really good idea to get to know what containers are and kind of wrap your mind around how to use them and the benefits of containers. Containers build on a technology that's been around for a while, actually. Uh, Linux has had features to do containerization. What has happened recently is the tools around it have gotten much, much easier. And it's just a few simple steps to take an application and run it inside a container. We're getting a lot of benefits from just being able to run an application inside a Linux container. So this course has videos where we guide you through the different topics, but we also have readings in between the videos where we've rounded up different links to documentation and tutorials where you can dive deeper into these topics. And we also have hands-on labs where you can practice yourself. So something about this course that I really love is that all of this information is on the internet somewhere. But what we've done is we've taken all this information and kind of rounded it up into one place so that it's really convenient for you to watch an intro video and then determine what's important for you. And then you can go to the readings and click and link out to the different documentation and readings for you to gain a deeper knowledge. Week one, we start simple. We build a container, we launch the container, see it running locally, push it up to a repository like Elastic Container Registry. And then we look at the quickest way to get that container out and running on AWS infrastructure, we use App Runner to run that container. In week two of the course, we talk about Amazon Elastic Container Service specifically, and we talk about some of the concepts behind container orchestration in general. And then we also talk about how ECS kind of does a lot of that for you. And we also talk about AWS Fargate, which is a serverless compute platform. And we run through some demos showing you how to host a microservices application on ECS with EC2 and and with ECS and Fargate. Week three, we get into an open source product, Kubernetes. And Kubernetes, again, is for container orchestration. And we're thinking about, I have an application, I need to get it out onto compute nodes. And not just that initial deploy of the application, I also need to update it. And there's services talking to it, how do I get the new version out, tell the service talking to it about the new version, and then remove the pods that were hosting the previous version of the application. In week four, we do kind of a roundup of other container related services. So some of those services are monitoring services like Amazon CloudWatch Container Insights. And we also do things like give a demo of App Mesh, which is a service mesh for containers. And then we also cover services like AWS Lambda, which supports containers and a couple of other things in there as well, some other container related services. So once someone has finished this course, I really hope that you go find a problem that you're working with right now and we have offered you the solution. I love the benefits of containers, especially the code portability aspect of it. And so it's really um, just a great topic to learn about and learn about how containers can benefit you when you're building applications.